All right, so it's been a long time since I made a video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today this is gonna be finally that moment. Well, every year the Redmi K20 Pro just refuses to get obsolete when a new Android version releases and it's been six years now and finally I will be showing you how flash Android 16 on the Redmi K20 Pro and that is the Evolution Storm. The latest one is the 5th July 2025 build and this is of course based on Android 16 and it is still coming with the dynamic partition and stuff. There are a couple of notes. It's the initial Android 16 release, of course, not for daily driving, but yeah, you can do that if you're an enthusiast. And here we still do not have no Leica camera or Dolby Atmos yet. So if you're a fan of Leica camera and stuff, yes, you will be disappointed. Just wait for a couple of updates. It will be added in the future builds, hopefully. Dirty flash from Android 15 will work here, it says, but to be sure, backup and clean flash. So even the developer actually mentions that to back up everything from your older Android 15 based Evolution X ROM. So here I have the legacy to retrofit zip file and the Evolution X ROM file. And of course the recovery and stuff will be present in the description. If you need that, of course, I'm gonna be using the Orange Fox recovery. And here I'm still using the project matrix ROM, I guess. And from this Android 15 matrix version, I will be switching to Android 16 here. So let's just continue doing it. For that, I'll just like hold the power menu and tap on restart and go into the recovery straight up. Do backup everything before proceeding and this is a clean flash method that I will be showing you today. So make sure you follow this only if you are going to clean flash. If you are dirty flashing it on top of your Evolution X ROM Android 15 version, then you can just simply dirty flash the latest Android 16 build and that should work. No need to wipe data or anything here because I will be of course formatting data. So without doing anything, I just straight up went into my download folder. And by the way, in case if you are wondering which recovery I am using, this is the Orange Fox R12.1 underscore zero. So from this download folder, first things first that we will select is the legacy to retrofit kind of zip file. This is to actually have the dynamic partition properly. And this is the one I'll be flashing first Then add to queue. And then I'll select the Evolution X Android 16 kind of version. And this is again, it shows 4th July 2025 build. So I'll keep these two selected unmount system and vendor. Reboot after installation is not selected for me because I will reboot it manually. So from here, I'll just swipe to install and wait for the time being. Now it has successfully flashed everything pretty much. So I'll just go home and from here, from the menu section, I'll just click on reboot and I will reboot the recovery once. It is still asking me for the pin. So I'll just enter my lock screen pin. Just enter the pin, even all the storage and stuff, everything shows up. But right now I will format the data and I do it all the time. So I do not have any problem while formatting anything on my device. But yeah, if you do this, of course, everything from your device's data will be wiped. So be careful and back up your stuff beforehand while flashing this ROM. And I typed yes in this format data section. Again, I went to the wipe section and format data and typed yes. Now I'll just hit write. And format data, it shows successful. So right now I'll just reboot to system and wait for the time being. Let's see if it boots up. And we can finally see the Evolution X's boot animation looks pretty cool so let's wait for the time being now it shows welcome to your evolution x finally so i'll just set it up and i'll let you know okay so the film is kind of idea looks a little bit weird see it's cut out or something but we'll see yes it shows fingerprint added not gonna set up face unlock right now here it shows all set so i'll just swipe up to go home and i'm just restoring my google app data backup that's why you are seeing all these apps but these are mostly the stock apps of this rom let me just increase the brightness and all right, we can already notice that brightness slider and the quick setting panel of Android 16. It's looking so beautiful. And let's just go into the edit. And yes, the edit section and stuff, everything is working flawlessly as you can see. So this is nice. We have the Android 16 kind of quick toggle panels already. Let's just launch the camera and see if it's working or not. So yes. It is a basic camera. It is working fine, I guess. Yep. It's nothing amazing or anything, but yeah, it's actually working fine. So that is uh, decent enough news. And turning on the toggles and stuff, this is how it looks. Also in the settings, this is how it looks like. We have Google on top and we have the Evolver settings and stuff right there. And there is slight bit of customization here, it looks like. Let's just check out the component spoofing. And yes, we also have the Keybox XML kind of spoof option. And there is also the Play Integrity Fix kind of option, which I'll be testing out later on for the banking apps and stuff. If you want to use those, you definitely can, I guess, for now. 
but this is where things get a lot more attractive in the android version section we have the evolution x logo up top and the android version if you're noticing is android 16. let me just show you the doodle of it and yeah this is how it looks like this just looks beautiful and it's running on a six-year-old device show me a six-year-old device from a different brand which was actually priced less than thirty thousand. that is running android 16 today this is why I just love these Xiaomi devices which can keep evolving with time and updates and the evolution X version here as you can see shows as 11. The signal patch it's June 5th 2025 but that's fine. I am fine with it. We have the stock kernel as the 4.14 open LR kind of kernel. Built maintainer is Joe Huab and huge thanks to the developer because of him we are getting to see these Android 16 and stuff in these 6 year old devices. So huge thanks to all the developers who has worked on this and we have the build date and stuff. This is the 4th July or 5th July build you can say and you can notice the build number. There is leave to check phone and there is the ambient option. Let me just test that here. As you can see ambient display it's working fine. This is nice. Tapping on the fingerprint scanner. Yes it unlocks. So yeah the fingerprint scanner it's working. Okay so I do not have the always on fingerprint kind of option. Maybe I'll try to enable that later. But yeah, the fingerprint scanner, it's actually working fine. That's a good news. Let me just enable the always on display. Let's see the animations. Yep, looks sleek. The other clocks. Yeah, I think this is the Android 16 kind of clock. It's not doing much, but yet. Yeah, so yeah, even this one, it's working. Looks decent. And yeah, that animation looked dope. Yep, this is definitely a new animation of unlocking from the always on display if you're noticing. Quickly, if I show you the system settings, yes, there is the device diagnostic stuff. There is also a system updater. Okay, that's fine. But yes, I would always recommend update it manually whenever you need to. And there is a USB configuration. You can set it to file transfer for convenience. But even here, you can notice the expressive kind of design and the gesture settings. We do have the swipe to screenshot kind of gesture. Yes, that is of course working fine. But in the navigation mode, there is circle to search. This is what I was trying to see. And here we have this expressive kind of design too for this back gesture, right? We have the back gesture animation and stuff. Swipe to invoke assistant. That should work, but right now it's downloading all the apps. So I'm not sure if it will work or not. But of course, I will be testing it and reviewing it later on. And yeah, right now it's kind of closing because I think we are downloading the updates and stuff. You have to wait for the full review if you want to see all the features of this particular ROM. But yes, there is buttons, there is long press power and toggle torch, all these things. So yeah, pretty much we right now have Android 16 on the Redmi K20 Pro and that's just insane. And this is how you flash Android 16 on a six year old device, which is the Redmi K20 Pro in this case. I also made a video of flashing Android 16 on the Poco A5. Do check it out if you haven't yet. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about running Android 16 on the Redmi K20 Pro, which is a six year old device. And if you will try it on your device or not. And if you do, please share this video with your friends to actually let them know how to actually flash Android 16 on the Redmi K20 Pro. Hit this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more awesome contents like this. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Hope you all are having an amazing day. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.